In this lecture, we are going to study the section 5.3, which is the science, scientific notation uh, as an application of the exponent. Scientific notation is used to represent large number or a small number. One example for a large number is the mass of the Earth which is really big number and the one example of a, a small number is is the mass of, of an electron which is really small small number as the decimal point is right here then it is difficult to handle it with all these zeros yes? even if we had large number or small number is, is complicated to handle with all, all this uh, amount of zeros. But we don't need to write this huge number of zeros if we use scientific notation. And let's see what is the scientific, scientific notation. Any number that is written in, in scientific notation has two parts. One is the number, which is this, is represented by A, is the number, but this number should be with, between 1 and 10, but the number can be no equal to 10. Yes. Then this number, which is in front, is this one, should be between 1 and 10. Then A can be equal to 10, but no equal to, sorry, can be equal to 1, but no equal to 10. Yes, the number can be 9.999 by no 10. And the second part is, is, is any power of 10. Yes, that is 10 to some exponent. B, the, the B in this case represent the exponent can be positive number or can be negative number. Then any number in scientific notation has two parts, the number part and the power of 10 part. This, the A, this number should be between 1 and 10, can be equal to 1, but no equal to 10. And this is the power of 10 part, and the ex exponent of 10 can be a positive number can be a negative number. Then let's check this, this example. 5 10 to the power 3. 5, 5 times 10 to the power 3. Is this number in scientific notation? Yes, because this number is between 1 and 10 and is multiplied by power by is multiplied by any power of 10. In this case, the exponent is 3. Always, if the number is in scientific notation and the power is of the exponent is positive, this corresponds to large number, greater than 10. Let's check the second number. Is this number in scientific notation? The answer is yes, because we had in front 3.8. This number is between 1 and 10 and is multiplied by power of 10. In this case, the exponent is negative 4. Always when we had any, we, we had a number in scientific notation and the exponent is negative, this corresponds to a small number, less than 1. Let's check the third number. Is this, is this number in scientific notation? The answer is no. Why? Because in front, we had 253. This number is now between 1 and 10. Yes. Even, even though it's multiplied by power of but any, but the power of 10, but the number in front is now between 1 and 10. Now we want to know how we can convert any standard num standard number any number that is in a standard notation convert to science scientific notation. Then we can do this one 
we can we can do that if we follow these steps and then the first thing we want to is we need to lock, locate the decimal point to make the number between 1 and 10. Then let's try to convert this 885, which, in, which is in a standard notation, we want to convert into scientific notation. And because we want to convert this in scientific notation, we need first to know, we need to write the number between 1 and 10. And then where we want the decimal point is right here. Yes. Between the A's here. Now we need to know how many places we need to move to convert this number in scientific notation. And we need to move one, two places. Then we can write this one then in scientific notation. This number will be 8.85 multiplied by the power of 10. Because we moved two places to the right, we had two. Then the, this number in scientific notation will be 8.85 10 to the power 2. But one way, one way that is easier, if you don't remember, if you had to move to the right is positive, then the other way you can remember, you can remember, uh, or the other way you you will know what is the sign of the exponent. If the number is greater than ten, always the exponent is positive. If the number is greater than ten, always the exponent will be positive. Let's check the second example we had in this case. This number is a small number. We know it's less than one. And we know without complete the problem, the exponent in this case will be negative. The exponent of the 10 will be negative. Let's see. Then let's try to follow these steps. And the first, where we want the decimal point? We want the number between 1 and 10, then we want the decimal point right here. How many places we need to move? One, two places. We move to the left, the exponent is, is, is negative. But we know, we already know, the exponent of this number of the power of 10 will be negative because if the number is less than 1. And let's write the answer. It will be 8.1, 1, 2 places, minus 2. And it, this number is in scientific notation. Let's try to complete a few more problems. Then, number 1. Let's try the first one. We had 15,000. Then where we want the decimal point? We want the decimal point right here. Yes, because we need between 1 and 10. Let's see how many places we need to move. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And we move to the right. It's positive. But we know, we know the exponent must be positive because this number is greater than 10 as it's big number and always big numbers exponent is positive is positive and we have here one let me write this one again is 1.5 10 to the power Let's check this. We know this one is less than 1. We know in the answer the exponent of 10 must be negative. So let's check where we want the decimal point. We need the number between 1 and 10. Then this, the, the decimal point must be here. Let's see how many places we need to move. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we want here. And 
and this must be negative and we 7.44 10 to the power minus 4 it's a small number we know the exponent must be negative let's try this one and the first thing we need to know is we need to write the number between 1 and 10 is this number between 1 and 10 yes then we don't need to move the decimal point to the right or to the left because the number is already in scientific, in scientific notation but we need to write this number in scientific notation that what what we can do is is 1.09 10 to the power 0 remember 10 to the power 0 is 1 yes 10 to the power 0 is 1 then is the number we don't need to write this is why the exponent for 10 is 0 we don't need to move the decimal places to the left to the left or to the right let's the last one and where we want the decimal point we want the decimal point right here how many places we need to move one two three four five six we know it's large number the exponent must be positive but we move to the right also this is another way you you, you know the ex, exponent is, is positive and it's 1 10 to the power 6 now we want to know how if we if we if we had a number in scientific notation how we can convert this number to a standard notation and we can follow this these two rules first if the exponent is positive just move to the right the decimal point yes. how many places the, the depend on the exponent yes depend on the exponent if if the exponent is negative then move to the left the decimal point yes, the decimal point the number of places we will move depend of the value of the exponent then let's check this one yes. let's check this one the first the first we want to write this numbers this we want to write these numbers in a uh, whole numbers or decimal numbers and we have 3.21 10 to the power 5 right here we have here then this is positive yes it's positive and we need to move to the right how many places five places and let's one two three four five how many places five from this point one two three four five and let's write the final answer the final answer is three hundred twenty one thousand yes this is the final answer this is how we can convert this number in science scientific notate notation into the standard notation now let's and I, I need some space here, I will write here 7 and we need to convert this number in, uh, in standard notation then here the exponent is negative and we need to move to the left yes, we need to move to the left how many we need to move to the left, how many places three places and then we need to focus this value in one place two places three places and here must be the decimal point then the is 0 0.0074 yes. one two three places there are some students that they don't they don't like to write this decimal point but I think uh, it's very 
to y in order to avoid any confusion yes and the, this number in scientific notation in sorry in a standard notation is 0 0.0074 Let's try to write this number in and let's try to write this number in scientific notation. So in a standard notation. And we want a point seven five places positive move to the right. One, two, three, four, five, and here will be a will be eight hundred seventy thousand. Yes, eight hundred seventy thousand. Now this number two. 10 to power 0. We know we don't need to move the decimal place to the la to the left or to the right because it's, it's 0. Then it's just the answer is 2. Another thing is we know 10 to power 0 is 1. Yes. Any number rise, rise to the 0 power always equals 1. Then the answer in this case is just 2. Let's go to the next problem. Then positive two places to the right. One, two. And then the final answer is 256. Five. Positive four. Four places to the right. If there is no explicit decimal point, we know the decimal point, point is at the end of the number. And it's just here, man. Yes. It's just here. How many places? Four. And one, two, three, four. Then the final answer is 50,000. And this is in the case if we had positive exponent. As always, we need to move to the right. The, 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 the positions indicate by the, by the exponent. In case of the negative exponents, we need to, the, we need to move to the left. Yes. Then we have here 6. We know if there is no explicit decimal point, the decimal point always is at, at the end. And how many places we need to move to the left? Five places. Then one, two, three, four, five. Here is the point. Yes. Then the answer is 0 0.00006. Next, in this case, we had explicit decimal point. Yes, 54. And how many places we need to move? Two places to the left because we had negative exponent. Then let's move two places. We had one, two. Here is the decimal point. Then we had zero. Point zero three five four. Let's go with the last one. It's a point seven. Then how many places we need to move? Five places places to the left from this decimal point. One, two, three, four, five. And here is the point, the decimal point. And the answer is 0 0.23487. And this is the answer. Yes. Now, the last thing we want to discuss about the scientific notation 
is how we can multiply and how we can divide numbers that are in scientific notation. To do that, we need to apply the properties of the exponent we study in the section 5.1 and 5.2. And we will follow the, the, this, the follow these steps. First, we need to multiply and divide the numbers we had in front. Yes? And we need to multiply this number. Maybe we can read the steps and we can solve the first problem. And we need to multiply or divide. In this case, we have multiplication. Yes, there is no sign here in between. We have multiplications. Then first, we multiply the numbers we had in front. Yes. Then we need to apply the product or the quotient, depend of what problem we have. In this case, we need to apply the product rule of power of the exponents. Then now we need to multiply the power of 10. Then now let's, let's, um, now let's multiply the numbers 2.1 times 3 will be 6.3 here is multiplication let's be careful it's 6.3 now apply the rule same base then we need to add the the exponents but in this case one of the exponents is negative we need to subtract this minus 7 plus 5 will be minus 2 now we need to write the answer in scientific notation. We need to check is this number in scientific notation? Yes. This number is between 1 and 10 multiplied by power of 10. 10. Yes. Now for the second one, we will follow always this rules. Then let me write the problem again. It will be maybe good. 10 to the power 4 divided by 1.5 10 to the power minus 3 and divide the numbers 4.5 divided by 1.5 equals 3 and divide the numbers as this 4.5 divided by 1.5 equals 3 now we need to apply the quotient rule of of the exponent yes. then multiply 10 the caution rule say if we had the same base we had to subtract this one the exponent on the top minus the exponents in the bottom then we had 4 minus but here is minus Remember, we say if, if always is the exponent on bottom is negative, always this turn into the positive. Yes. Then finally, we have 3, 4 plus 3, 7. Yes, it's 3, 3, 10 to the power 7. Now, is this number in scientific notation? Yes. Yes, because it's between three is between one and ten. Let's solve a few more problems. Yes, let's solve this one. Then for the number one, we had multiplication. Multiply the numbers five point nine times one point three. It is multiplication. And we need to also multiply the power of 10. Now we need to multiply 5.9 times 1.3 equal to 7.67. Now we need to apply the product rule of the exponents. Same base. Same base, we add 
and now negative 54 plus 33 is minus 21. This is the answer. Is this number in scientific notation? Yes. Yes. Is 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 right. And let's now solve this one. Let me write the problem again. 56 10 to the power minus 20 divided by 10 to the power minus 5. And in this case, we need to divide the numbers as 8.56 divided by 1.1 equals to 7.78 times. Now we need to apply the quotient rule of the exponents. Then minus 20 minus minus 5 minus minus 5 as yes, we need to be careful when the exponent in the denominator is negative yes. and negative times negative is positive then what is the final answer is 7.78 10 to the power negative 20 plus 5 will be negative 15 is this number in scientific notation? Yes, it's in scientific notation. Now let's, the last one, six, let me try to write here this one again. Five point A minus T. And 6 divided by 5.8, as we divide first the numbers, equals to 1.03. Same base. It's 3, as we have 3, top, minus, minus. Remember always. If the exponent in the denominator is negative, this will be positive. Yes, this will be positive. And what is the final answer? 1.03 times 10 to the power 3. Negative times negative is positive. And finally, we have 3 plus 3. 3 plus 3 equals to 6. Is this number in scientific notation? Yes, it is in scientific notation. This is the last two problems we are going to discuss in this section. Then let's now, we need to multiply these two numbers which are in scientific notation. Then the first thing we had to do is we multiply the numbers we have the front is 4.7 times 6.1 and we need to multiply the power of 10. And 4.7 times 6.1 equals to 28.67 times 10. And according to the product rule of the rule of the exponents, we need to, in this case we need to subtract because one is negative. Negative three plus nine will be six. six. The next thing we had to check if if the number is in scientific notation. And is this number in scientific notation? The answer is no, because twenty-eight point six. 67 is now between 1 and 10. Then what we had to do, if the number is now in scientific notation, the number in, means the number in front in front is now between 1 and 10. And what we had to do is to convert this number in scientific notation. And we need to convert this number in scientific notation. And where we want the decimal point? Right here. Yes, right here. 
how many places we need to move just one the number is greater than 10 is po is is, is uh, then the exponent must be positive then we want to write this number in scientific notation it will be 2.8 how many places we move one yes this part is just this part yes we need to move from here to here let me write this one yes from here to here but we need to write the other part yes this part corresponds just to this yes. this portion corresponds just to this part and let's multiply other part is 10 to the power 6 then 28.67 we write this number in scientific notation is 2.867 10 to the power 1 now finally we can write the number in scientific notation same base we need to add the exponents together both are positive 1 plus 6 is seven now is this number in scientific notation the answer is yes because this number is between one and ten and this is the answer yes. and finally we had here one we had in a number in scientific notation which is raised to the third power means we had power of a power we had power of a power what we had to do with the exponent is multiplying multiplying them together as multiplying the exponents together and in this case two is one yes exponents we know if there is no explicit um, exponent we know is one and two one times three is three times ten negative 4 times 3 is negative 12 now 2 to the third equals 8 2 times 2 let me write here 2 times 2 times 2 equals 8 a 10 to the power now is this number in scientific notation the answer is yes because a is between 1 and 10 then this is all i had for today uh bye bye